Hello, hello. And today, we're on everyone's favorite, Griffin, Indiana. Can't wait to show you what I have in store. Gonna be a fun build today. Something I've been looking forward to. So we're gonna head on over, buy the land, and let's get started. Just like most of my builds, I'm pretty much gonna start from scratch. Again, no disrespect to AJ Farmer, but I'm gonna try to make this my own and do something a little different. But before that, as you can see, when I removed the buildings, they left pretty big holes in the ground. So we gotta take care of that. As I've said before, make that slope tool your friend in situations like this. Find the flat spot or the height you want, right click, then go to the low spot and move it back up to the high. That'll get you a good start. Just be patient with it. It's not a one swipe fixes all. You gotta keep messing with it until you get it just how you want it. Once you get it close, then you take your soften and your level tool and you finesse it until you get something that you're happy with. But you can always fix it. It may look bad at first, but if you keep tweaking it, you'll get something that closely matches the terrain around it and something you can work with from then on. And if for some reason you do just totally screw it up or are unhappy with how it turns out, make sure you save it right before you start any major terrain changes. That way you can go back to the beginning and start over from there. Well, if you know me, if you watch my builds, you know I've got to start with the farmhouse. And a comment in a previous video said there was a great elk mountain pack that had a lot of cool stuff in it. So I went out and downloaded it and this house was in it and I absolutely love it. It's now my favorite house. So I had to use it. And you know, I like to take subscriber comments and use them in my videos. So I got a comment in my last video from Zombie King, perfect name for my October video. And he asked why everything was always together as in one place. And you know, he's right. I do tend to build everything in the same location. So it was perfect timing for this comment and this build actually. In FS19, I did have a main farm and then a separate location for my cattle in the grass field adjacent to 34 and 35. Now I didn't go that crazy this time. I kept everything kind of in the same location, but I still have the main farm vibe and then kind of an area where my house is at. So I hope this works for Zombie King. Something not so uh, all together and in one place. A little more spread out this time. And since it's spooky season, don't be afraid to leave that comment down below. If it's a critique, something you want to see me build, or even just an attaboy. It could be something I use in a future video. And they don't hurt the algorithm either. So it's a great way to help me out by leaving a comment. Anyway, enough with the shameless self-promotion. Just kidding, there'll be more later. So with this build, just like my FS19 one, I wanted to focus on cattle and hay. There's just so many grass fields on this map that I wanted to take advantage of that. And all the other fields that you don't own, you can use those contracts to keep that bank account in the black. And then you still get to use all the fancy combines and other equipment that everyone loves running. So I went with these uh, haystacks, kind of in the middle of the farm, central location. You'll see why I went with them in this location here in just a second. I recently downloaded that mod, so I was really itching to use them. Wanted to see what they look like in game. Here I am searching for a cold storage shed. Really like this Elk Mountain pack. Lots of cool stuff in it, and not just buildings, lots of cool placeables too. So I decided on this shed. I really like the look of it. I think it's something you'd see anywhere in Indiana, or even your neck of the woods. To me, it's got that old feel, but you can definitely tell the farmer took care of that building. It always had a nice coat of paint, and the tin was always perfect. Really love the look of this barn. 
gives me that Lone Oak Cattle Barn feel, which if you know, that's my favorite map of all time. So I definitely had to use it in my second favorite map. More landscaping here. Get that slope tool out. Get everything leveled out. Go back, use that uh, soften tool, get things close. And if you have to, use the raise and lower. It's sometimes a little too harsh for me, but uh, I made it work on this one and I think it turned out great. I focused a lot of attention on those areas because I do plan on farming those areas for hay. So I wanna make sure the tractor and the mower can get through there with no problems and not get high sided. Getting a little heated shop here. I think I've used this in another build before, but I really liked it. Again, not really focusing on using big equipment for this uh, map. I did try looking for some bigger shops, but it just didn't fit the look, didn't fit the space that I wanted to put them in. So still fits with the theme. Hey, hey, and more hey. Or maybe, hey, hey, hey. Nothing? Nobody? Wanted to add another open shed here, you know, somewhere I could place some things that can stay outside, but still wanted them under cover. There was just this little space there that I thought needed something between the building and the tree, and I thought that open shed would be perfect. Back to the homestead, while building farm shops, I thought this area needed one too. So I added this neat one. I really like this one. I've used this a couple times in some other builds, as you've seen, but it's such a good looking shop. A lot of good features. I just had to add it. So I thought this would be a perfect little home shop to work on your hot rod, race car, extra storage, home office, maybe even chickens or some show cattle. Whatever the use, I just thought the house looked too lonely and needed another shop in that location. While I'm dreaming up what's next for this build, I thought I'd go ahead and take care of some of the details as I see them. You guys know I like my details, so just adding some here and getting it to look how I see it in my head. There's always lots of that. So while I said I was gonna focus a lot on hay, I figured I'd still have to have some sort of a silo system. Gotta make that money. And storing and selling grain is the way to do it in this game. I know I said I'd use contracts earlier, but you always gotta have at least a field of soybeans, corn, canola, sunflower, something like that. So here I am working on the loop for the silo. Got to make it easy for my truckers. I mean me while I'm hauling grain. So uh, always got to have a loop. This might be a little too tight of a loop to make for my semis, but I think I can make it work. Check out that farmhouse in the background. Pretty cool sight to see as I'm laying down gravel for my driveways to the cattle barn. Really liking the look of this farm. All these mods I'm using on this build really give it some awesome character. You know I'm all about character. Speaking of character, really appreciate all you characters out there who have been supporting me, liking, commenting, giving me ideas for builds. You guys really make this fun. So keep it up. Help me out, share with a friend, and if this is your first video, hit that subscribe button for me. And go back and check out my builds playlist. There's tons of other builds in there, and might give you some ideas for your own builds. Either way, I can't thank you all enough for being a part of this with me. It's not lost on me how cool this is to be a part of the farming simulator community. And you doubted me. I warned you, there'd be more shameless self-promotion in this video. So let me know in the comments, do you like that I put grass in the barnyard? I go back and forth on it. Sometimes I feel like it's necessary, and other times I feel like I'm overdoing it with it. So let me know what you think. Too much? Not enough? Just right? Leave a comment below. That's why I add these cattle lanes lately. Try to break it up a little bit, maybe find a happy medium between dirt and grass. I definitely like the look.
now it's time to work on this place. I'm gonna put some fences up, get those situated, make sure I have enough room for a yard. Also don't wanna to take too much of the grass field. I will hay this, so I wanna make sure I have plenty of room to maneuver between the shop and the pond there. So I found this trick to build straighter fence lines. Use the straight edge of the shop. Once it collides with the building, then you know you've gone too far. You can back it up a little bit. And the outcome, a nice fenced in yard. Since this is mostly gonna be a hay field, I squeezed my backyard a little bit and gave most of my space to the side and front yard. I really thought about using a different style fence for the side of the house, like a privacy style fence or something a little more fancy, but I just didn't like how it looked. Just felt like it clashed too much with the rest of the houses and buildings and fences, so. So I ditched it and went back to the tried and true barbed wire fence. While sometimes my OCD doesn't let me make a crooked fence, I hope some of these are just enough out of place to satisfy you non-perfectionists out there. So I'm building this little pen on the side of the shop. Like I said before, could be a chicken coop, keep some show cattle, something in that area. I thought it was a nice little touch. I had quite a bit of trouble with this area that I'm working on now. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with it. There's some weird things in that area, just nooks and crannies. There's also a water faucet there, kind of out in the middle, that I didn't notice until later. So, And it's kind of the same with the front. Just, I just don't think it fits that I left it. Maybe I don't need a sidewalk every time I build a house. Hmm. Something to think about. Time for some decorations. Need to spice up the joint a little bit. Again, just don't know what I want to do with these areas, but I'm trying to use a mix of stuff I've used before, stuff I haven't used. Definitely do not want that copy and paste feel from my other builds. Definitely want to make these original, but also use stuff that I think will look good. Quick little walkthrough here of the buildings on the farm. I know I've used this one before, but still want to kind of show you how it works. I do like how that you can only open the doors from the inside. Yes, it can be annoying, but gives a little touch of realism that I like. And then the cow barn, almost everything in here works, the windows, the doors. That one didn't work because I think I was having an issue with my computer. Because uh, you'll see some of the gates over here don't work either. So, and I know that they do. So I was having some sort of key binding issue and it wasn't the mod. I'd also lift my auto save on and it was causing me a lot of problems as well. So that's why you see some of the random cuts in this video. Just a lot of cool attention to detail. So much so that the hay ring in the field is where you actually place the hay. That's pretty cool. So much credit to the modder for thinking of that detail and making it work. So while I was playing this in my own time, I got to thinking whether I actually needed the trees in the barnyard or not. Let me know what you think. Would you add them or would you leave them out? I like to think that it provides shade to the cattle, but ultimately they just kind of get in the way. And then I get to thinking, how many times have I seen trees in a barn not in real life? Not very often, unless it's abandoned. Something for me to think about in my future builds. I can't be the only one who'd plant fully grown trees around their house if it was that easy to plant them. Just point and click. I almost forgot this fence along the other side of the driveway. Gotta make sure I add that. 
Hopefully it's not too narrow, but I don't think I'll be bringing too much big equipment up this way. Adding a gate to my little pin up here. But after I built this one, totally forgot to add one to the hay field. And yes, I know I'll probably use the one on the other side towards the main farm, but it'd be nice to have one on this side too. I'll add it later. few times I've got to play this map so far my tractors have gotten caught on those fence edges so I had to get rid of them just FYI for you guys playing this too so I got to this part of the build and I was itching to build another shop I fought it off for a little bit but we all know what's gonna happen so I come back over here and try to distract myself by painting the driveway I don't know what my deal was with this build but I kept using the wrong textures for things Asphalt instead of gravel, grass instead of gravel, grass texture. I don't know, just weird. So don't make the same mistakes I did, folks. Pay attention to what you're doing. This build did take me several days because I've been busy at work, which is also why it's taken me a while to get a video out. So maybe that's what it was. I told you I couldn't figure out what I want to do with this area. I just noticed the hose bib sitting out in the middle there. So I moved the walkway over. Still not sure I like it, but it's what I'm going with right now. So I couldn't fight anymore, couldn't distract myself any longer, and, well, I had another shot. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. So I decided right here, in the middle of the loop. I hope it doesn't get in the way, but that's kind of dead space anyway. So I think it's a good spot for it. I feel like I use this shed a lot, but it's pretty handy. Three big bays, relatively compact, but you can still get a lot of stuff in there. So it makes it hard not to use. Just some final landscaping around there. So there's no bumps when I drive in. And again, another time where I used asphalt instead of uh, gravel. Not sure what I was thinking. There's always that one spot that you can never fix, no matter how hard you try. And there's mine. I'm trying to attack it from every different angle and every brush size, but I just can't make it work. Good thing it's not too bad. Caught me again, wrong texture. I didn't really want to widen this driveway, but I thought it was necessary. And in my mind, it was this wide in FS19. At least that's what I'm telling myself. What's that in the road? Ah, a coin. I'll take a thousand bucks. 
There's got to be more where that came from. I'll have to take a look around the map. this far into the video that must mean you like it so please smash that like button it's huge for channels like this and others like mine it's such a simple and easy gesture on your part but a big deal to my channel and other channels like mine so make sure you let all your favorite youtubers know you like their content by smashing that like button Walk through time. I want to show you the house, how cool this is. I haven't really been inside this one yet with you guys, but I really like this house. Definitely going to be using this one more often. Here's the shop. Really like this one. Lots of cool rooms, lots of different uses for this. Now let's hop in the retriever and check out the rest of the farm. Here's the main farm drive it around, making sure everything feels like it's uh, where it's supposed to be. Nothing's too far away. Nothing's too close. Definitely like how this feels. So back to the homestead, a few little more tweaks here, and then we'll head to the flyover. Thanks for checking out another one of my builds, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button, leave a comment on this video and all my videos, and even better, share it with a friend. Until next time, I'm Matt Don't Play.